Hello everybody, welcome to this video. On this video we're going to be going over customizing our main menu or as some people know it, our navigation menu. Okay, so as you can see we have the main menu option, drop down menu and the sub menu. Okay, first thing we're going to go ahead and do is click on the main menu option. Okay, and as you can see we have the general stuff, create button as an image. Website X5 already has different images for you to choose from. But for example, if you happen not to like these images, you can always go to my download section and get some very cool images to put as your buttons. Okay, so the first thing you're going to go ahead and do is border with. Okay, you can choose your buttons to have border or not to have border. Choose the color of the border. Go ahead and choose a blue, add some border, with color, I mean with, I'm sorry, color, with, choose the width of our navigation menu, 200, in this case, inner margin, I'm going to show you what that is, going to make your buttons fatter, okay, so in this case, we're going to go ahead and leave it like that, outer margin, it's going to separate your buttons. So let's separate our buttons, leave them like that. Enable vertical auto scrolling. Now what is this? As like I said, Website X5 gives you a very cool tool. So for example, when you scroll down, this menu, the vertical menu, is going to follow you as you scroll down. Okay? And If you don't like that, you can just enable vertical auto scrolling, disable it, I mean. And it won't do that anymore. Okay. Now let's go over text. It's going to allow you to choose the font for your button. So, for example, let's go ahead and choose a 10 font. Okay, everything's nice how we want it to be. Alignment. We can align our text center it right or align it to the left. Okay. Horizontal margin is going to give us a margin between our text. So, for example, we can put it like this. So, for example, this, this is useful for when you want to put it to the left, but you don't want it exactly like glued to the left hand side, and you can put a good horizontal margin to make it look however you want it to be. Font style. This isn't available, okay, because we haven't created button as images, okay. Font style, but let's go ahead and disable this. We don't want to use this option because we want to download our own buttons from my download section but of course you want to use this option it's okay just go ahead and enable it okay text now we're going off to the graphic section we can choose the background color for our buttons blue and as you can see we when we roll over it or we can make it when we roll over it goes red the text color text color on mouse roll over you can see now it's beige or yellowish let's leave it at white okay now we're going to go ahead and choose our image now i already downloaded these images from my download section go ahead and get your own images you have the option to customize them choose the color and all that cool stuff okay so button and now let's choose the text color white and the rollover button is going to be a little bit lighter. Okay, this is looking very good. Now let's go ahead and test this out. And as you can see over here on the left, we have our navigation menu. And it looks pretty good. I like how it, this color ended up. So now let's go over the create button as images. This is going to enable this, like I said. 
let's go ahead and delete these images and use the website x5 images that it has already enabled so for example we can use a rounded and then we can go over here to the graphic section choose the color let's choose a red so if you don't want to download anything that's okay you can always use website x5 it's such a great software I actually I pretty much like it a lot merge buttons so you see what it does there and make some more cool customizable menu effects now this is cool we can choose the effects we can choose either a flat effect or we can make it insert a flat pillow bunch of different effects the point here is that you go ahead and test them out see which one you like better border style none or you can choose a border pillow just try combining these things to make it look good and professional light where do you want the light to come from you can want it to come to the right you want it to come from the bottom okay corner radius this is going to allow you to choose the radius of your corners so for example you see what it's doing over here around it they're squared contrast the contrast of your buttons make them really bright make them really dark image opacity okay if you put this up your image is going to get an opacity effect put this down okay very simple so those were the 3d style effects from websex 5 very simple go ahead and press ok now let's go over the drop down menu right here you have your pretty much the same thing create button as images the border the width the opacity the inner margin you have your text the home horizontal margin okay graphic you choose your graphic or if you want it create button as image okay it's very simple it's pretty much the same thing and right here this is where it kind of changed a little bit settings menu position you want it to the left or to the right okay and enable drop down menu for sub level items this is going to show this ugly looking square right here i don't really like it you go ahead and enable it and you're going to see how you're not going to like it i'm going to disable it it's just going to give us a nice looking sub menu current style next level items current level items so background color you can see how you can choose a background color in this case you're not able to choose the image because the images shown right here are going to be the ones that you showed on your drop down menu okay they're going to be the same images you chose there background okay font bullet you can choose your own style of bullet very simple Okay, now just press OK and we're done with this section. Very, very simple. Okay, thank you for watching this video. On the next video, we're going to be going over the textile welcome page and advertising corner. These are some of the most exciting, along with the following. And I hope you continue watching.